Police say a man from Houston is behind the murder of an Arlington business owner. It is one of the new details in two separate murder cases. Officers have also arrested three North Texas men for allegedly beating a man to death in January. NBC 5's Tahara Rahman has more on both cases. A memorial still in full bloom for 56-year-old Tho Tiu, more than a month after her murder. Some of the notes and flowers left by neighboring business owner Brandy Freeman and her staff. Just seeing the family as they receive the news and just sitting there on the sidewalk and just watching their mom and their loved one laying there, it was just like really hard to watch. Police say 35-year-old Fernando Taylor drove up from Houston and followed Tiu for at least an hour. When she got to her restaurant, police say Taylor grabbed her purse. As they fought for her purse, we believe the victim fell on the ground and was run over by the suspect vehicle as he fled the scene. They don't know why Taylor targeted to, but believe it was a random crime of opportunity. I have chills. That's crazy. According to police documents, Taylor had just gotten out of jail for armed robbery about a week before allegedly committing this crime. You know, she was going about her everyday routine, just business as usual, not knowing that, you know, within minutes her life would be ended by someone who was just a coward and just greedy. Arlington police say they were also able to use video to track down three murder suspects in another case, now all being held here at the Arlington City Jail. It's a hard video to watch, and it's, it's a very brutal murder. Police say cell phone video shows these three suspects beating a man to death at an apartment complex parking lot. The victim, 51-year-old Frank Kwasnika, a father and grandfather from Grand Prairie. Officers say the suspects stole Kwasnika's car and dumped it nearby. Inside, they found a cell phone and bloody shoe belonging to the suspects. What we think is that this was over a car accident that could have occurred. Um, I, I can't be 100% positive about that. Kwasnika's family saying the arrests give them a sense of comfort as they process the violent death of a kind, lighthearted man. Oh, he should have been a comedian. If somebody was having a bad day, he could say the funniest things and, and just brighten your whole day. Tahira Rahman, NBC5. Chief Al Jones says those murders are isolated incidents. He says violent crime in Arlington dropped 17% between 2022 and 2023.